In this video, we'll be talking about function notation. Up until this point, we've written our equations as y equals and then some expression. And from this equation, we know that our independent variable is the x and our dependent variable is the y. With function notation, we'll have the same expression except instead of y on the left side, we'll have f of x. And this is not multiplication, you read it as f of x, meaning that this expression or this function is a function of x. So y and f of x mean the same thing. We can see our independent variable is the x, and you'll see that in the argument of our function notation. And then f of x, which is y, is the dependent variable. So if we're given that f of x equals x squared plus 1, and we're asked to find f of negative 3, all we need to do is substitute negative 3 in to our function everywhere that we see an x. So f of negative 3 is going to equal, and then we'll put negative 3 in here in place of x, and that value is squared plus 1. Now negative 3 squared is 9, so we have 9 plus 1, which means that f of negative 3 is equal to 10. Okay, now if g of x is equal to x squared plus 1, find g of x plus 2. Again, we're going to substitute this argument into our function every place where we have an x. So we have g of x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2 quantity squared plus 1. Now we need to square this binomial so that means multiply it by itself. And then we have plus 1 on the end. Now we'll use FOIL to multiply this out. Our first terms multiplied is x squared. Our outer terms multiplied is 2x. Our inner terms multiplied is 2x. And our last terms multiplied is 4, and then plus 1 on the end there. So g of x plus 2 is equal to, let's see, we can combine these and these. So x squared plus 4x plus 5. Our last example, we're told that our function is h of theta, and it equals sine theta. Notice on this one, our independent variable is theta, and our function name is h of theta. And we're asked to find 4 root 3 times h of 30. So again, we're going to substitute this argument into our function everywhere that we see a theta. So that means our problem then is 4 radical 3 times sine of 30. Now sine of 30 we can calculate, uh, let's draw a reference triangle. For a 30-60-90 triangle, if we let the hypotenuse be 2, 
The side opposite the 30 is half of that, which is 1. And then the side opposite the 60, this will be my 60 up here, is half the hypotenuse times the square root of 3. So this expression then is 4 root 3 times, and then the sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. We do the math now, half of 4 root 3 is 2 root 3.